Hey everyone, it's Vianera, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my perfume haul. Um, I just placed an order from Fragrance X, um, and I blind bought a few perfumes for myself, um, and I'm really excited to open it, and I wanted to share that with you guys. If you're new to my channel, I like posting a lot of beauty and lifestyle related videos. Um, and I just recently started posting on here, so I do plan to post more. I've actually really been enjoying it. Um, and yeah, so if you'd like to subscribe to see more videos, please do so. After a lot of research, looking at a ton of YouTube videos and going on, um, I forgot the name of the website. Um, I'll put it here so that you guys can see it. Um, but after going to that website, I was like looking up notes of perfumes that I like because I wanted a new perfume or some new perfumes. So I actually placed my order on Monday morning, like I said, around 6 a.m. I got my order today and today is Wednesday. So it was super, super quick shipping and um, that already gets like a great point for me because I also purchased um, some mm. other fragrances from Fragrance Nat, which I've purchased from a million times before. Like that's my go-to like fragrance site. I kind of decided to check prices, like to see who had the best prices for all of the fragrances that I wanted to purchase. And you know, whoever had the best price, I purchased those fragrances from that retailer. Now let's get to my package. And yeah, so I'm about to open it now. So it came in like nothing fancy. I know in the past, Fragrance Net, their box is purple and it like says Fragrance Net on it. Um, so this box is just brown. Um, just like, you know, basic, which is totally fine because, um, you know, I live in an apartment building and I guess like, you know, it's not the best. I, well, I don't like everyone knowing what I'm purchasing and what I'm having delivered. So, um, yeah, um, this is kind of cool because it could be um, kind of incognito. Also, if you're buying a gift for someone um, and they love you, it's kind of cool to have this um, type of box. So, you know, unless they are reading your mail, um, they won't know what it is. Okay. So. It looks like it's probably packaged really well. I don't know if you can see that. There's lots of bubble wrap. There's like three things of bubble wrap that went over top the perfume. So, sorry. So in this order, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six perfumes for myself, and then I purchased one for my boyfriend. Um, just for his like replacement, Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, so now for my stuff. <sighs> okay, so first I'm gonna say that most of them, I think five out of the six are Terry Mugler's perfume, Terry Mugler, and they're flankers, or actually one of them isn't. But okay, we'll get into all of that. So <sighs> I'm gonna say my favorite, or what I think will be my favorite for last. Um, and I'll start with, you know, the unsure ones. So this is from the Angel line, and this is Peony Angel. So I haven't really seen a lot of YouTube videos about this fragrance. Um, I think maybe two I've seen. I'm not a huge fan of Angel, so when I was younger, I used to love that scent. I thought it smelled so delicious, and me and my best friend, every time we would go like shopping or go to like Macy's or Bloomingdale's or you know someplace that would have fragrances we would always spray this on something and just like smell it for the entire day and it was just such a a yummy scent at the time and uh we really loved it so I always associate Angel with her um I don't think either one of us would wear it um especially now but um, it definitely holds a special place in my heart. Um, so I was, I guess I kind of wanted to have Angel in my collection, even though I don't enjoy the original fragrance on myself. So um, I was looking 
through, I think I was just looking through the inventory of what Fragrance X had for Angel. Um, and I saw Peony Angel and I looked it up on that website. Um, and uh, I noticed that um, a lot of people said that it doesn't really smell like Angel. Like this is a good option for people who somewhat enjoy Angel, but they want something more floral or lighter. Um, so that's what really got me to want to try this. So this is 0.8 ounces. So I guess that's not a lot. I'm going to take off the um, picture is pretty. So on this side, it has a picture of the bottle. That's what I think the bottle is going to look like. And on here, it has um, Angel, and it looks like it's a big picture of a peony on there. I, um, I'm going to put, like, I guess the pricing and stuff up so you can see how much it cost. Um, and yeah, so and I'm going to open it. So upon opening, there is just this little pamphlet. There's another pamphlet. Okay, oh, it's going to be so cute. Okay, let me see if I can open this. Okay, so I'm just pulling out like this insert, I guess. Um, so there is another like little pamphlet thing. Okay. So this is the bottle. I think it's less prettier than I thought it would be. So maybe like the color has changed of the, the juices and like it used to be this type of color. I don't know. Okay, so this is a little bit difficult. Do I screw it off? Okay, that did not. Mm. That does not smell good. Doesn't smell like perfume, it smells like, okay, so. What am I gonna do? I guess I'll spray the box. Okay. So it definitely smells like Angel. It does have like a lighter. Like a lighter, more floral vibe to it. Yeah, it's not as like delicious, but definitely like reminds me of Angel. But I don't know if it's the box or the perfume, but I'm smelling something that I don't like. Okay, so it was the box that had that weird smell that I was talking about. Um, and it's okay. So it's definitely still Angel. Um, it's a cute, well, it's kind of okay bottle. I wish the juice was the same color as the top. Um, so, I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep it like on my dresser if I'm gonna wear it. Um, probably not very likely and yeah, so, eh, okay. So I got another Angel. And this one is Angel Fruity Flare, or Fair, Fruity Fair, Fruity Fair. Um, the box is cool. All right, it has this little seal, I'm gonna open it. All right, how much is this? This is 1.7 ounces. Now let's see, I'm gonna this guy. Okay, so not as many inserts here, which is great. Okay, so this bottle is beautiful. I love it. I love the bottle. So um, I've always liked the Angel perfume bottles. Uh, this one is more of like a like neon blue, which is really pretty, I think. You can't smell it. So it still has, for some reason, maybe it's just the packaging, like that smells a little bit off. Um, I'm gonna test this on 
this thing. Mm. So this is definitely um, a little closer to Angel in the sense that it's more of like a desserty type of um, fragrance. It does have like still like a little bit of fruitiness to it. I, um, I think I might wear this more than the um, Peony Angel. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very sweet, but it's not as like overwhelming as Angel. So if you own the um, the original Angel, this is definitely not exactly the same. This is definitely lighter, um, but it still has that kind of delicious, um, desserty type of scent to it, which is really cool. So yeah, and the bottle is really, really cute. I love it. Okay, so... Um, all right, so the next one that I'm going to open, so I haven't smelled this yet. Um, this is Aura. So there are like, a, I think there are like two flankers of this. There's a bunch of flankers for Alien and a bunch of flankers for Angel, but the main scents are Angel, Alien, and Aura. So this is my first bottle, um, and this is the um, EDT. So I did see a lot of people, they said this is a very green and vanilla um, fragrance. Um, and I just, I wanted to try it just because, you know, it's another Terry Mugler. And let's see, so this has a little pamphlet in here. And look at that. I so love these bottles. Like, they're so cute. If anything, like, just purchasing these, like, if you're one of those people who like to have, like, a beautiful dresser top, like, this is just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm really excited to see what this smells like. Yeah, so you definitely get the green and you get the, um, vanilla and it's like a fresh sweet like but like with depth mm, so this is definitely my favorite so far yeah definitely definitely my favorite um so this um was a three ounce bottle this is so cute i love it Ugh. I don't even know where to put all these things, okay. And I had to, guys, I had to. I had to try the um, flanker. So um, for the Aura, they have the EDP, they have the EDT, and then they have um, the Sensual EDP. Um, the main reason I got this, though, oops, was because of the bottle again. I mean, I did also, I did look this one up and um, people did say that this is a little bit different than the um, original scent. Oh my God, this is my favorite. I love holographic. So anything that's like mother of pearl, holographic, um, iridescent, I love that. And this is so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so, oh. So this seems like a little bit, you can hear it. it. Looks, it feels like it's like not on properly. Like it's very shaky, this metal piece. Mm, I hope it doesn't mean it's in a bowl. All right, so I hope this smells a little bit different because I, I don't like to have like the same type of scents even though like I probably shouldn't have purchased it if that's what the deal is, you know? Okay, so it definitely, it's definitely sweeter. So it's very, it is sweeter, a little more vanilla-ish. Um, 
Yeah, it's definitely sweeter, but it's very similar. Like at first sniff, I was like, is it the same? But then when I smelled the, um, the original, the original is definitely more green and more clean. And this is more sweet and like vanilla frosting-ish. Yeah, but still very light and still has a bit of green in it. So they are definitely different. And it does seem, according to these, you know, cardboard things, they do smell different. So I know it might be a little bit different when I'm spraying it on myself, but it smells very, very different on the cardboard. Okay. So before we get into the last perfume or the last Terry Mugler perfume, I think I'm going to take a break from Terry Mugler and do the one perfume that I didn't get from, from, um, from that house. So this is Guerlain's Insolence. So, okay. I had always wanted like certain scents. So I had told myself in the past, like I want a bubblegum scented perfume. I want a cherry scented perfume and I want a violet candy scented perfume. And the violet candies that you get at like the corner store where they have like um, gum and they also have like this chalky um, violet, that violet candy that's like really strong. I love those. So to me smelling like that would be great. And um, I was on a mission to find these types of perfumes and so I still haven't found my watermelon or my cherry perfume, but um, I did see like a few reviews that said that this smells like violet candy. So I'm hoping that's what they meant when they said it, like the candies that I'm talking about, um, because this will be like my new favorite perfume ever in the whole world. So, one thing I will say is that I bought the EDT and the EDP. So this is the EDT and this is the one that I've seen people say smells like the candy. I purchased the EDP from Fragrance Net first and um, I haven't received it yet. And uh, then I found out like later that they actually um, smell different so I will let you know if they smell different once I get that but just to be safe I figured why not just you know buy both so um yeah so this is the EDT and this is 3.3 ounces no pamphlet the bottle's so pretty Okay, guys. This is like a big deal for me. I'm like scared. Okay, so this smells very clean. Ooh. <sighs> okay. All right, so at first it smells like super clean, almost like very soapy, very like shower, like clean. And now I'm getting like the, the little, the little bit of the violet. Hmm. So that's super comforting. It's not as sweet or like syrupy sweet as I thought it would be. 
but I'm going to have to try this on my skin. I want to see like what it's like. It's not what I expected. Definitely not what I expected. But um, maybe I'll be surprised once I put it on my skin. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray it. Okay, so I'm going to let this do its thing, and I'm going to open my last perfume. All right, so... Okay, so my favorite perfume of all time, like, hands down favorite perfume, is Alien. So, um, I do intend to get as many Alien flankers as possible. Um, and I guess today I started with one. So, um, this is Alien Fusion. There is this YouTuber that I saw and she said she actually likes the Alien, um, Fusion better than the original. So I'm really excited to see what that smells like. Um, I did also ask her just because, like, I hate it when, like, you buy a flanker of a fra fragrance and it smells almost exactly the same. Um, I can't think on the top of my head what what um what perfume did that but i feel like it's happened more than once to me and uh so i did ask if like she thought it would make sense to get this and a few other ones that i purchased from fragrance nut that hasn't come yet um and she said two of them were pretty different but okay so this is two ounces I love this like red color, it's so beautiful. <sighs> Look at that. So this didn't have a little pamphlet. Oh well, sorry I didn't read the other pamphlets now that I think about it. But I love this color, this color is so pretty. So it's like the traditional alien bottle. It's just like this beautiful like orangey red it's very very beautiful okay so this i think i'm gonna like no matter what you know but okay so <sighs> that's just so comforting to me it's so like Oh, that's, it smells ugh, amazing. So yes, it smells like Alien, but it's a little bit different. It's like a little bit like, like sweeter or like, I don't know if I'm using the right words. So I'm not like a professional perfume person, but yeah, no, this smells amazing. Okay. Oh, okay. So back to the insulins. Yes, I'm getting those candied violets. Okay, so yes, I love it. So definitely my two favorites from this haul are definitely the Alien and the Insolence. Definitely my faves. Um, after these guys, I'd say the Auras are definitely um, like right under these. And then I'd have to go with Angel. It's not really a surprise to me. I've never been a huge fan of Angel. Um, Alien has always been like the perfume for me and um, I'm just I'm so happy that this is like exactly what I hoped it would be it just it really smells so good yes I love it I'm so happy guys okay so that's it for my little unboxing um, of my perfumes that I purchased from fragrance net um, I definitely would recommend them um, and I would definitely price check like Fragrance Net and Fragrance X. The prices aren't usually like a, like a huge difference, but 
I feel like every dollar counts, so why not just get like the best pricing, um, especially if you are going to purchase a few um, and not just like, you know, three where it doesn't make sense to get free shipping for two, have to pay for shipping for one. So like I said, I bought these six fragrances. I have another probably five, but they're not all for me um, coming from Fragrance Nat. So um so yeah, if you're doing something like a big order, I think it does pay to like, you know, check prices um, on both of the websites. You get coupons from both of them. So Fragrance Net, um, I feel like you can always find a coupon for 35% off. And on um, Fragrance X, you can always find a coupon for 15% off. And um, the prices are always very similar once those coupons are added. So um, that's something to keep in mind when you're shopping for fragrances online. This is my first time ordering from Fragrance X and I'm super happy with the whole experience. The shipping was fast. The products were all brand new. They all seem legit. I'm kind of itching to buy some more, but I kind of like, since I was on YouTube looking at all these videos, I'm really interested in trying like niche perfumes. So um, I think the brand that I really want to try is Mentale, Mentale, Mentale. I'm not sure how you say it, but um, they're super expensive. They are available on both Fragrance Net and Fragrance X. Um, so probably in like a couple months, I'm going to save up to purchase some like niche brand um, perfumes. If you know any niche brand perfumes that you would suggest, especially for someone who's never really purchased a niche perfume before, um, let me know which perfumes you enjoy. So even niche or not, let me know what your favorite perfumes are, especially for like year round perfumes, so like signature scent perfumes, because um, those are the type of perfumes that I'm really interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please comment, let me know your thoughts, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.